I am making my Halva Magic Bars. They're chewy and sweet and literally magic because they're all made in the same pan. I just add every ingredient to the pan and bake it. So I'm starting with a pan that's been greased and then lined with parchment and greasing it helps the parchment paper stick. I'm gonna add a stick of butter and I'm gonna melt my butter directly in the pan. I'll stick this in the oven for a few minutes and my oven's already preheated at 350. And while this melts, I'll gather my remaining ingredients. I've got some graham crackers here and pistachios and I'm gonna crush up my graham crackers. I'll just put them in a bag and crush them up. Looking good. I'm gonna check on my butter now. Perfect. I'm gonna swirl my pan around to make sure that the butter gets all over the bottom. And then I'll scatter my graham cracker crumbs all over the butter. And I'll use my spatula to spread it around evenly. You don't have to worry about packing this down like an actual pie crust, it's just one of the layers. Now my next layer is gonna be a cup of chopped dark chocolate. I like using dark chocolate here because the other ingredients are really sweet, so the dark chocolate adds a nice balance. Traditionally, Magic Bars have butterscotch chips and chocolate chips, but instead of butterscotch chips, I'm using one of my all-time favorite foods, halva. Halva is a Middle Eastern candy that's made of sesame and sugar, and it's a little bit crumbly, a little bit flaky, kind of fudge-like, totally addictive. I'll sprinkle this all over. And halva is available at a lot of grocery stores or specialty stores, or you could also order it online. Next, I'm gonna add some chopped salted toasted pistachios. I love the green color that this is gonna add. You need something salty too to balance out all of the sweet ingredients in these bars. The pistachios complement the halva really nicely, and I just love pistachios so much. Next, I'm gonna hold everything together with my sweetened condensed milk. First, I'm gonna pour a little bit out over the bars just to make room for my extracts so that I can have space in the can to mix it up. And now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and rose water, which goes so incredibly with the pistachios and the halva and the coconut. That's gotta be like my favorite flavor family ever. And I'll mix this up right in the can. If you don't have rose water in your pantry, don't worry about it, it's optional. Now I'll pour this on evenly all over the top. And it's just gonna soak down into all the cracks of the ingredients and hold everything together. Mm, I love these. And now I'll sprinkle on sweetened shredded coconut. And this gets all toasty in the oven. It gets gorgeously brown and it adds great texture. Okay, I'll spread out my coconut. And now I'll finish these off with some dried rose petals. They're really pretty. And these will also complement the rose water that's in the sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes until the edges are golden. And when they bake, everything is gonna to melt together and form this flavor party that is so good. Oh. They came out beautifully, and now I just need to cut them into squares and then pack them up for the potluck. I'm gonna score them first so that I can know where to cut with my knife. And now I'll go the other way. Okay, and now I'll use my knife to chop them up. Oh yeah, these are looking great. And I'll grab my container and I'll pack these up. And I feel like every good Midwesterner has a collection of sturdy containers specifically for potlucks. Oh no, one of these won't fit. Mmm, it's chewy and sweet and nutty. And there's this great crust all around the outside. 